Good evening. My name is Mickey Perry, and I'll be bringing you the devotion tonight from Bob Goff's book, Live in Grace, Walk in Love. It's April 23rd. The way we love difficult people is the best proof the tomb is empty. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers over all wrongs. Proverbs 10, 12. Every group of people has a few who clearly didn't get enough hugs when they were kids. You know the ones. They're usually easy to spot because they never like the food they order in the restaurant and they don't laugh at any of your jokes. There's a familiar phrase, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Well, there's some of those hammer people and you've been nailed a couple of times. It's tempting to want to tag out and call it quits with people like that. Life is much easier when you don't have to deal with difficult people, isn't it? But the way we love difficult people is the best evidence we have that the tomb is empty as we have said it is. We spent a lot of time talk talking about exactly how it happened, how Jesus defeated death and made grace the currency we would spend for the rest of history. We have beautiful ambitions for everyone around us. We want people to know they're forgiven. We want them to know evil won't have the last word. We want them to know Jesus isn't a philosophy or a worldview or just a historical figure. The best way for us to convince people love won over death and is still alive is to live like his love is still alive in us. We won't convince people with our arguments or Bible verses. We'll move them with the kind of sacrificial love that precludes every other explanation. It's easy to love people who love us back, but the tomb, the empty tomb has far more depth to it than that. The resurrection says God's love, God loves the good people and the difficult ones. Don't downplay the story and miss the message by only loving the easy ones. Go a little deeper with your love. Engage the people you've avoided. Delight in how different they are. Will they still be hard to love? You bet. Do it anyway. Who's a difficult person in your circle? What can you do to change your perspective about them? Good night. God bless you. We miss you.